Good morning. It is almost 35 minutes past 11. This is the time I'm actually meant to leave, but I actually want to really quickly film this intro before I head on out. It is going to be a vlog style video today, guys. So I really hope you enjoy. I'm going to the textile fair in London. It's in Islington at the Business Design Center. My aim today is to make sure that I am getting the best fabrics for this new collection and at the best prices. So I've written down like my, my aims and objectives for the day. I'm filming! He's watching Emily in Paris. So the fabrics I need um, for my whole collection are viscose drill fabric in 270 GSM or more. Actually no, that one I actually want it to be that weight because I feel like it's a good balance for what I need to make it, for what I need to make from it. Um, I need French terry cotton in 450 plus GSM. So as you know, it's nice and weighty i need polyester tracksuit fabric i'm looking at about 350 gsm for that or more ring sprung cotton so 220 gsm for that and i need 100 percent silk crepe in 22 mom i think that's how you say it for silk they measure it in like a different a different unit i say they call it mom i only recently discovered that but yeah those are the fabrics that i need to source today the most important ones which are the ones that i actually haven't managed to find elsewhere are the polyester for the tracksuit and the ring sprung cotton actually i found both of them but i just didn't enjoy the well for the polyester i didn't enjoy the weight of it and for the cotton i didn't enjoy the price i didn't enjoy the price the price was a lot it was a lot so if i keep looking into my viewfinder i'm not actually used to having my viewfinder like right there because i'm not hooked up today and i don't have my ring light or a mic so my viewfinder is like on full display so i'm proper like looking into it i can proper see it so apologies in advance i am trying to look straightforward but yeah i'm hoping for a really successful trip because i want to get things rolling like i want to order in the fabric and just start making this collection like i've got my designs and i'm happy with them yeah i'm trying to make progress i've got i've got deadlines to me i'm trying to release this before the end of christmas you know before before december like and it's october i don't know whether that's ambitious and i am getting late my train is at nine minutes to 12 and i'm walking there i'm walking to the train station and I'm really not trying to be late the rest of this vlog is going to be filmed using my phone so i really hope that the quality isn't too like but yeah i'm not lugging around this massive dslr camera in london like i'm not confident enough to be there with like my massive camera vlogging so i'm gonna go try and catch this train i hope i don't miss it and yeah I've just arrived in Angel and vlogging in public takes a lot of confidence. Um, I'm actually feeling very awkward right now, but all is well. So what? This ain't even that bad. I'm never going to see these people again, so I might as well just try and be as confident as I can be. So I just arrived at Angel and I'm just walking to the business centre now. Um, I hope I'm actually going in the right direction. I haven't put any directions into my phone. I'm just, um, I'm just looking around and hoping that I'm, oops, that I'm going in the right direction. We actually had a pop up at that skinny kitchen that went fantastically, and I'm being very sarcastic. I need to dash my coffee cup. Memories. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. This is not how fairs are supposed to be. It's like empty. Oh my gosh. So today's been a total waste of time. Um, I'm in the toilet right now and I hope nobody walks in. But um, basically this, this fair has been going on for like three weeks and today's the last day, meaning that pretty much everybody's gone, but 
so yeah as i was saying today it's apparently the last day of this fair and the majority of the exhibitors that were here have gone um my email didn't specify that my email made it out that it was a two-day fair so basically today has been a total waste of time yeah but these things happen and then on top of that my manufacturer is giving me these wild prices that were nowhere near close to the prices he initially quoted me so it's just been a bad vibes day so far but we're gonna turn it around i have a table booked at five o'clock for dinner and well early dinner and it's like two o'clock now which means that i've got like three hours to kill and i don't know what i'm gonna do in those three hours i might go to soho and visit like the fabric shops there just to kill some time and then go for dinner but yeah today hasn't been a success i probably just have to go with the fabric that i had already found which i have to talk about it probably will be included in this video since there's not even going to be a lot of footage anymore but yeah it's just a bit rubbish really but hey ho it is what it is i'm in the toilet right now I'm like hiding i feel so embarrassed they were like looking at me like there is the end right i was thinking like it's so quiet like, why is it so quiet makes sense i should have done more research in all honesty i should have done a little bit more research but hey ho there's actually only two exhibitors there sorry of which their minimum order quantities for fabrics are just completely just out of my 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 meters like the, i'm not trying to order that many meters of fabric so um yeah just a bit of a waste of time really it's quite annoying because on my ticket it did say today and yesterday so i i don't i don't know how that level of miscommunication has happened but it is what it is i'm actually sat on the floor right now i'm sat on the floor because i was sending an email to my manufacturer who so it's always looking at me has quoted me some prices that are again unrealistic like when i first first started talking to my manufacturer he quoted me some fantastic prices and now that i'm like here like i'm looking to actually place um, an order he switched up the prices like it's double the prices that he um initially quoted me and it's just saying all this other ish that just is annoying because the first email i sent him included the quantities that i wanted but now he's saying that ooh, those quantities are, are really low by the way and it's like if they were low then shouldn't have replied and we've been corresponding for like almost a year maybe like even more than a year and now the prices he's quoted me are just nowhere near the initial prices he quoted me i agreed to um cut make trim i was going to source the fabrics myself we had come to an agreement but now he's switching it up so i was just um sending an email just trying to clear things up maybe there's been a bit of a misunderstanding on my side so i was very friendly in the email um i'm just waiting for his response and then i can go from there if not then i'm back to square one i have to find a new manufacturer because honestly i don't think i can afford those prices that he's quoted me so that's a headache in itself but it's a headache for another day honestly i saw the email when i was on the underground and i was just like oh anxiety central like for goodness sake like what is this but um we move gotta go to soho now and i will see what i can do see whether i can claw back this day before i've got my dinner and try and turn it into a productive day which is what it was meant to be because i had like my notebook and everything like i was ready i have like little samples of fabric just trying to match fabric and all that stuff like i was prepared i was so prepared on the plus side i am getting more confident with this whole blogging in public thing uh, i'm like literally walking with my phone up in the air vlogging my life away so that's great oh no there's loads of people here no i'm not that confident actually come to think of it i'm putting the camera down bye